There you go. Okay. So Mondo's starting off pretty hot right now. He's a, uh, I'd say his best matchup against Fox. Um, I mean, you can say that a lot. A lot of people, Fox is kind of like the Ryu of uh, Smash. He kind of everyone knows the matchup. So you have to be, to be a Fox player, you have to really have a good knowledge of other matchups. Otherwise, those uh, more uncommon characters like Dr. Mario kind of come on top and have a slight advantage on gimmicks and things like that that wouldn't normally work. He went for the back air. I probably want to went for a back throw. Just uh, getting Fox off the edge. As long as you get him below the ledge, that cape is pretty much free. The only option they have is to, uh, a B up, but I don't know if Susie is uh, experienced enough to do that kind of stuff. Ooh, that was a sweet wave lander for that back air from Dr. Mario. It's a down smash. Susie kind of have a hard time like getting a good opening. Bondo's doing a good job of kind of being more sporadic about his movement. A good up smash, but I think the dash attack was not the optimal option by any means. He gets a cape. Three stocks to one. I mean, Susie can definitely come back. Mario's one of those characters that you can just shine, spike twice off the ledge, and that's it. Seems like Susie's playing a little bit on tail right now. He's not really hitting his L cancels, getting the shines that he wants. Definitely a little disheartening losing to characters like uh, Dr. Mario. <coughs> Those mid-tier characters, especially when you don't know the matchup. You think you can beat them, but they just pull out the stuff. I mean, Dr. Mario isn't a bad character. He's just not, you know, nearly as effective and has as many options as, like, characters like Fox and Marth. Plus, he has one of the worst recoveries in the game. Up throw, then we get a punish. The up air, back air. Oh, oh, okay. So Susie takes the lead now. This might uh, give Susie a kind of momentum to kind of start playing on point. That forward air, though, <laughs> standing, <laughs> standing laser isn't going to get you much. Okay. So now Susie's speeding up a little bit. He's kind of getting in the groove now. Maybe you get a little more comfortable with what's uh, one those pulling out. You must be feeling comfortable with doing full charge up smashes as a read. There we go. Nice. 94% on an up smash. Pokemon Stadium will do that. Cancels a down smash into his own down tilt. Dash attack back air. Fox has so many openings off his dash attack. It's just a little on the punchable side. Let's punish for the up B. Ooh, he definitely gonna punish harder than just a back air on that. Playing a little footsie game. Ooh, four tail beats the up smash. Interesting. Freeze the roll, doesn't really get much off of that. Meaty forward air. Oh, didn't get the punish. He, he keeps missing those uh those jab down up smashes. It's an up throw. Up air. This is the combo. Ooh. 
grabs the F smash before it comes out. Wanda luckily shields that shine. That probably would have been stock for him. One stock's a piece. 70% uh, isn't too much of a deficit. Doesn't take much to kill each other in this uh, matchup. Especially once you get off the ledge. Susie getting a little hungry for those up smashes, you can definitely tell. I mean, he's at the percent to kill. So Vaughn's going to have to be really careful not to get up smashed in this uh, situation. Gets out of the up throw up air. I don't think that really works too much on Mario, especially this high percent. He's more better off just throwing him off stage or just down throw and trying to get something off of that. But the fourth smash will end the match 1-1. So you, uh, I'm sure uh, Susie's definitely happy about that one. I'm not too sure what Fox really needs to do on against Dr. Mario other than really just like just like overwhelm him with pressure. Mario does have a cross cancel down smash, but it only goes so far in this matchup. Because once Mario gets back, he's just going to throw pills, and Susie's not really throwing out um, lasers. Like right there, that was a down smash. But that wouldn't have been able to happen if you just back air shined or down air shine. Susie, a little. There you go. That was a, that's the way you do it right there. Just grab ledge, stuff like that. You just need to wait. He did it. Yep. He did exactly what he needs to do. Sets the stocks even. Um, I'm not sure if. If this is really like a, a great stage choice for Dr. Mario, I guess he's taking advantage that some of his kills were off the top with his up smash, so he's going to the uh, Dreamland with such a high ceiling. It's a grab off the up tilt, up air up, or forward throw, or forward air, I mean. Another forward throw off the ledge. Mondo needs to just go out there and cape. You're not going to get as many opportunities because they know you're standing there. If you go up right in their face, they don't have as many angles to escape like the cape and getting just turned around. It really limits their options. But Vondo's been on the come up. I mean, he's been coming to the Monday weeklies, like a little smash fest that the Southside people host. He's uh, really dedicated to playing Dr. Mario. He's a lot of fun. I mean, his wave dash is pretty slick. He's fast. Got cool combos. Gets the cape right there. It's not too hard when the fox has to shoot straight up for those capes. Um, you just have to, like, perfectly sweet spot. Even then, I don't even know if it's even guaranteed at that point. There, second place down smash. Oh man, that was that sucks. SD last talk, man. Game three.